Okay. Hi everyone. I am trying something new, which is I'm gonna cook, which I do cook quite a bit and I am a good cook. I just don't generally do it for a party of one and a quarter. So I'm making picadillo, which is a Cuban dish that my grandparents used to make all the time. And I did some of the prep work already. And I'm just slicing up the onion as I'm cooking the sirloin, ground sirloin in a separate pan. This, anyway, here's some. And I figured I'd try something different because you all have watched me do makeup, watched me bathe gizmo. Now, you can watch me cook. I really don't know what you all really feel like seeing. First, the onions, the garlic, and they're all on a paper plate because I hate washing dishes. Now let me rinse off this can because it's dirty on the top. Oopsie. What did I do? Did I turn that off? I did. I don't know what I did. I broke it. I broke it. Oh, no. The dogs messed that up. Or did I unplug it here? Oh, I unplugged it. That's all I did. I tripped on it because it wasn't in the best spot. Okay. So, sorry. So, now I'm opening the can of mantles. Two of them for this. Yeah, they're much easier in the little jars when they're already diced, but oh well. So I normally take like two, or I normally have the little mini glass jars of them. But I ordered this larger one because I had something else I was cooking for. Okay. Now, let me... It's almost done to where I can drain out all the oil because I hate oil on food. And so what's everyone doing? Do I have any questions or anything? No. I don't. Oh, and I'm sure some people will have a comment about my shirt and I don't care. I ordered some really funny ones actually the last few days because I was bored. I ordered caution, politically incorrect tank top to wear, and I also ordered triggering warning. I might say something that offends you, <laughs> which I think would be funny. So. Okay, let me turn off this video real quick. Okay, so I've drained the ground beef, and now I'm, um, well it's ground sirloin, because that's what I prefer. And now I'm gonna saute the vegetables. Not really vegetables, but the green peppers, onions, and garlic. In order to get them, and this is always a base, for most, at least Cuban households, green peppers, onions, and garlic. It goes in everything, my grandparents used to. The other thing that's in everything, complete seasoning, and this. Boy, yes, this one. Those are the 
main things my grandparents always cooked with. So let's get these are nice and sauteed. So that way I can then coat the meat in and build up the nice flavoring. But this is one of the simple dishes my grandparents used to make me. It's picadillo, which I like and grew up with. And now I'm going to reach here because that's sauteing. And add, add in the meat again. And then I'm just making a meat very um, not clumpy. My ex, who was American, not that I'm not American, but he's like from Chicago. We're still partners in the bar with friends. He would call this uh, Cuban sloppy gems, is what he would call it. Now it's going to be fun, and it'll take, probably take me a year to edit whatever I did with my camera, because I never do. So I added the tomato sauce. I added two packages of sasong. I added the veggies and I re-added the meat. And now after that, I'm going to add the aceituna, which is olives, because they're part of the flavoring. So, and I normally pour in some of the olive juice. And some people do this with the raisins. I really don't care for the raisins because I don't like the sweetness mixed with this tomato sauce and the bitter. So I prefer it just with the olives because some restaurants have it. Actually, every restaurant I've been to has Picadillo with olives and raisins, which I don't like. But that's my personal preference. Not everyone else's. So. Oh, and that's still recording. Cool. So let's see. Okay, what did I say? Did you? Hey, didn't you say something about doing a live and please let us know the time? Yeah, I'm sorry. I wasn't planning on it. <laughs> Just do it. Is Trump going to run again? I don't know if he's running or not running. I just know that I like my governor. And yes, I did say I would let you all know, but I wasn't sure if I was doing a live or just trying to record with my phone. So that's why I didn't let everyone know because I wanted to see how this worked and if I would even have time to do it once I set everything up. So sorry I didn't let everyone know. And then let me put some pepper in. I haven't done that yet. And let me put up my garlic in the refrigerator. And I try to put up the stuff when I'm cooking in the middle of cooking. So it'll I will say this, I give these people, these women credit and the people credit who spend all their time doing these lives quite a bit and setting everything up and all their videos because in order to set it up, like if you want to do the OFTV, you have to um, have your camera in a different mode than what I normally do mine is for positioning. And it's not the easiest to set everything up and get it all together and come up with content. So I do give kudos to everybody who's doing that because I don't have patience myself to do it all the time like they do. Get a 
taste spoon to see how the sauce is. Real quick. To see if it's how I like it or if I have to add some more stuff. Because I never measure when I cook. I never measure anything. I do it by taste with any of the dishes. So for me, it's like... Mm, it's good, but it needs more seasoning. And this seasoning has, I mean, it has garlic powder. Of course, it's made in Doral. That would explain it, but it has, okay, this has all the seasons. It has garlic, it has um, garlic and um, salt, it has different herbs, it has garlic, onions, and um, some bay leaves, and some other ones. But it's what we use in everything. <laughs> don't know how healthy it is for you because I don't really measure all of those things. I just go with flavoring. Like even in Bahamas, they made a few years ago, what was it? That it was the um, healthier way where they took a lot of the um, sodium and stuff out of things. So I don't know. Let me see. And are there any more questions? Oh, Lake Michigan. Isn't it cold? Okay. Okay. Are you ready for Fantasy Fest? I am ready for Fantasy Fest. And I just had my wings delivered for one of my costumes. You want to see them? They're so cool. Let me see. Probably should be bringing them in the kitchen, but aren't they like the coolest ever? They're super cool. But they have to lay flat in order not to ruin them, so they're on my dining room table right now. And they make a huge mess with glitter anytime I move them around. But aren't they cool? And then, what else is there? Let me see this again. Get a different spoon. To see if that's better. And it's almost done. And then I'll just leave it here till later, till when I'm planning to eat it. What? It's a really cute bathing suit that I had made from Ravage Sands. It's glittered and everything and with crystals all over it. Very pretty. It was expensive. Way expensive, but should be worth it. Hey Gizzy. Let me take out some food for Giz. Because he hasn't eaten today ever since his brother went back to New York. He hasn't been eating much and neither has his brother. But actually this food is done to be exact. It's one of the simplest and quickest dishes I make. But let me wait for that to cool off. And I can get some to Gizmo. Hi, Gizzy, what happened? Come here. Come here, Poopoos. Mommy got you some food. Don't worry. Yes, you heard your name. Yes, your mommy's got you some food. I know. Okay, I can use this spoon to give her some. But I gotta wait for it to heat since I'm the one eating it. And that's turned off, so that'll continue. Come here, Giz. I think it's hot. Oops. Yep, he likes it. So, let me see. 
gave him pumpkin loaf earlier today, which he likes. Hmm. It's good. But the good, the always good. Like normal. And let me get some to Gizzy on his plate now. Come here, Giz. Okay, let me give you your own little plate because you're not eating anything that I put in your food dish. Because why you don't think you don't like your food dish anymore? Okay. So Gizmo is slightly spoiled, if you all didn't know. I will tell you he is. He doesn't eat dog food and he now refuses to eat anything out of his bowl. And I won't give him a paper plate because then he chases and he takes it all around the house. So this is what I do now. Okay, you want it? Come here. There's your food, come on. Gizzy's food, are you gonna eat finally today? Go on, it's yours, go get it. Toma te lo to comida. Si, eso de tuyo. And now I'm gonna have tomato sauce to clean up after I just give you a bath. Okay, I always wondered what it has. Notice they always, my dog is trained to like everyone, but my dog's a service dog. So for the people who make fun of me for having him, you all might want to realize that I am half blind in this eye. And that's why sometimes in photos, my eyes don't look the same, one's much smaller. It's because by the end of the day, this eye is tired, especially when I'm having to look and focus at things because I had a severe car crash. So what happens is, is that if I get stressed um, or have anxiety, I lose vision in the good half of my bad eye. And he is trained to detect that, and so is Maya, so was Lilo before he passed away. So those are things people should be aware of. Just because somebody has a little dog doesn't mean it's a fake service dog and they're trying to get around things. They can legit have a medical condition that you're not aware of. Because to look at me, would you know that I can't see out of half of this eye? And it happened in a car crash that detached my retina. But can you tell by looking at me I have a problem? No. But do you know how many times on social media, in restaurants and places, that I have to defend myself for having it. And so little dogs are also trained when you see them to detect diabetes. So that way you don't have to prick your finger anymore for insulin because they can smell the difference in your breath. And the little dogs that are for blood pressure, diabetes and stuff, you can have them and they're trained to be close to your chest to sense the reactions. So those are just things that more people should be aware of because I've had comments on my social media when I have my dog in a restaurant that we hate. Why do you use your dog like that? It's not like that one out with Paris Hilton was one of the comments and they don't realize that my dog is necessary medically unless I want to um, take meds and I'm not pro medication for anything. It's good when you need it, but I don't think I should have to take a pill every day for a blood pressure or an ailment that might happen once a month when things spike. And I don't need the medication if I'm redirected. So that's what people should be aware of. So that's all. But I will let you all go. Oh, and let me see. Oh, let me get it. I wish I would.